welcome to another video. My name is Kat. Uh, I am somewhat new to YouTube now that I've done two whole videos. Um, and I am here for another one. So let's get started. This wonderful video. Um, I painted my face uh, like Monokuma. So if you want to watch that video, that'll be linked in the end. Or you can just go to my channel um, and watch it. So this week I decided I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. Give myself a little bit of a break. Um, and, uh, you know, just, I'm going to list my, uh, top 10 favorite podcasts, um, what they are, who runs them and, uh, why I like them, I guess. I did write down some stats. You're going to hear a lot of paper shuffling because I use my phone currently to film this. Um, so I can't just write it on my phone and swipe around and, you know, so also I don't really have a lot of help with sound because I'm still kind of learning how this whole thing this whole thing works I also don't know where to look so um yes it is 10 56 at night I did my makeup um for this video because I came in and I looked in and I'm like I need some mascara on and then as soon as I took out the mascara wand I'm like so here we are we're gonna just do this Okay, so I'm back. Um, like I said, I'm going to start out with number 10. So number 10 is Nothing Much Happens. Uh, this podcast is meant to get you a little sleepy, a little calm. But anyway, this is made by Curious Cast. Um, and the main person who does it is Catherine Nikolai. These are all stories that she writes herself. Um, and she goes through in the first, po the first um, short start of the story it is um red like somewhat fast like not super fast but enough to you know get through it and then the second time she reads it she goes slower really hits on the details it seems like in the story um and that's just kind of nice because if you're not already asleep then you'll definitely be asleep I like to listen to those a lot. You know, it's just nice to listen to the stories anyway. She's creative and she finds a way uh, to um, show us her self and her art without having to, um, you know, without having to make it something that you really, really have to think about. Um, it's kind of just like a lucid dreamscape kind of feeling when well, like I said it's more of like a literature thing calming she writes all these stories herself um so I think they're just they're very beautiful and I really I personally like them and I think of uh number nine is Harry Potter and the Sacred Text I started listening to this one um last year when I decided to get audible and reread all of the Harry Potter stories wow. so Anyway, Harry Potter and the Sacred Text, it is by Not Sorry Productions. Um, they are, you know, it's a discussion between Vanessa Soltan and Casper Turkuli. I think I pronounced that wrong. Um, but they're, they're fabulous, basically. Number eight, Conspiracy Theories from Parcast Network. Um, it's read by Molly Brandenburg and Carter Roy. Uh, every week they do a one episode where they tell the truth they tell the facts about that specific conspiracy theory and then they dive into the conspiracy theories they do like it. history true crime all that kind of stuff um and they started 127 of 18 and they are ongoing with 156 podcasts um, I, uh, so number seven on the list is here's what you do. This is ran by, um, a watcher. Oh, yeah. He's pretty fabulous. They say it's for a pessimist an optimist okay. and an optimist. But I think it's more of like a comedy advice, um, where they're giving you advice, but some of it just don't take it. Don't, don't take it to heart. Don't use it at all. Um, but some of it is is good advice um if you if you pick it out piece by piece um, is what i'm saying okay. so uh number six is cults cryptids and conspiracies now this is another conspiracy theory um kind of thing but it's more like uh 
I stumbled upon this one. It came up after I had downloaded the other conspiracy theories from Parcast, and um, they it kind of just like stuck with me. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, they don't have, they're like me, they don't have everything together. Uh, it's not perfect, um, but they like what they do and they like what they put out there and they want to continue making that kind of content. Um, so it is uh, ran by three C's, uh, which isn't uh, the letter C. It is S-E-A-S. -S. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's Chelsea and Christina. Um, they just, it seems like that podcast, it doesn't seem like super professional where they have like a sound team they have a video team and all that kind of stuff it sounds like two girls just having a lot like i said the first few episodes are kind of rough uh with the sound and them just trying to figure it out but when you start something new like this that's pretty much what you're doing is you're just trying to figure it out um oh, but maybe but they started back in 2017 in may and they are ongoing and they have about 174 episodes um they're great and i think they're wonderful i think they should continue making podcasts and i really think you should go listen to them so um so number five is cult leader with spencer henry um you guys probably have no clue who spencer henry is and if you do you probably met him through um glam and gore or mikey uh, she is a YouTuber who is just fabulous. So she does glam looks and then she does gore looks. So think of this that turned into Monokumba. If you watch the hairstylist and best friend Spencer Henry, he he's hilarious himself. So he is into all of that kind of stuff as well. Kind of the spooky cults. He kind of likes to learn all that kind of stuff. And so um, he started this back in August 14th of 2018. Uh, he does weekly videos where he sits and he tells you the details and gives some commentary on um, just uh, creepy true crime. Definitely things. go watch. He's hilarious. On my list is number four, Off the Pill Podcast. So this is ran by Higa TV. Um, also known as uh, Ryan Higa. He, he did. Well, since it started, since I realized and understood what YouTube was. So um, listening to his podcast is definitely watching him grow and be able to talk about the things he experienced while doing all that stuff. It's been neat. It's been pretty great. So um, he started this one twenty six of 2019. Uh, there's 41 episodes. They listed it as society, culture, and comedy. I agree with the culture and the comedy aspect of it. They kind of go over some um, interesting topics while adding some spins to it um, that are, are pretty uh, pretty interesting and pretty, um, you know, they, they make it hard not to laugh. So um, the podcast, as far as I know, is they did their last podcast, 12, 20, two of 19 on the um on his twitter it did say on a post in january that they were supposed to be back um in february and so far it's september and they're still not back coming in uh the top three the third space is simply pod logical um this is also a newer podcast ran by one of my favorite youtubers uh simply now logical uh, she is Christine without the H and Ben, which is her boyfriend. And they, they are fabulous. They're, they're like the parents. It seems like I go, I go listen to them for a lot of advice and just watch their videos. Um, they're from Canada. Basically, Christine started out as a nail channel way back in the day. Uh, I'm sure I was watching her nail art no, and he young. kind of, just uh you know got pulled into this but i think he's he's happy about being pulled into it especially because he gets to do it with someone that he loves and cares about um also they're just very genuine. pretty amazing they've got a lot of information to share a lot of things to do a lot of advice uh they do a lot of personal stories they started this year in uh february of 2020 and they are still running and I hope to continue seeing them run for a long time. 
and they are on their 20 um but yeah you should definitely go watch it it's pretty nice if you're looking for um confident strong opinions and answers and things they're definitely people to look at like i said they're kind of the parents of you coming in on the second spot is my favorite podcast it has been since i was back in high school um it is um, welcome, to welcome to night vale is uh Night Vale Presents. It is a fictional comedy, horror romance kind of um, podcast. And um, it is by Joseph Feek and Jeffrey Craner. They also do many other podcasts in the Night Vale Presents um, world universe. Guy. And he is a radio show host and he falls in love with a scientist that comes to their town. And they are there's a bunch of weird rules and a bunch of different things so if you like kind of creepy uh creative comedy uh with a little touch of you know romance it's pretty great it's pretty cute uh but they started back in 2012 uh, i actually heard about them through uh, a friend and uh we were on tumblr and just scrolling and i joined the fandom and now i just can't get enough it's it's pretty great go listen to it and coming in in the number one spot my favorite podcast of all time is jane j podcast or jenna julian podcast um it is ran by jenna marvels and julian solomita they they're adorable i love them they're on twitch uh they've been on uh, YouTube forever. They started their own podcast. They, they just, they're, re they're a revolutionary couple too. They're very, very sweet, very kind. Um, and, uh, they're just, they're good people. Uh, so I've been watching Jenna Marbles since I was a kid, uh, real small. Unfortunately, right now she's taking some time for the internet, from the internet. I hope that's not forever. Um, because it was kind of heartbreaking when the news came out that the podcast was finished. Uh, I think personally on Julian it was a lot because he was staying on the internet. And a lot of people didn't have nice things Luckily, to say. Luckily they kept all of that stuff up so I can continue to enjoy it. Um, I decided to listen to them from the beginning once again after I got to the very last episode that they posted recently. Um, so their first episode was 818 of 2014 and that's the first episode that they posted on spotify and their last episode which i i'm not gonna lie i broke down into tears uh, every good thing must come to an end at some point and unfortunately that's where this came to and i, I really hope that it doesn't mean the complete end or that that maybe they start a new podcast someday in the future i'm gonna go get my puppy ready for bed and i'm gonna play with my hair a little bit more before i go to bed thank you again hannah for making my hair fabulous um and just um thank you for every every one of you that is watching and um subscribing and liking and just wanting to hear content from me um i never would have imagined you know i would have this kind I'm, of thing. i'm very excited people are liking what i put on so far even if it's silly i feel like um youtube has uh, so far given me a little bit of a place to breathe and be creative um even if it's on a budget so uh, I'm gonna take all of this makeup off and I've got one more thing for you guys so I'll see you in a little bit. I am here to tell you about um, being an ambassador for a brand really quick. So I became an ambassador a while ago. They reached back out to me in July or so um, and they are pretty fabulous. I I am an ambassador, which means this video is not sponsored by them, but it does mean that I get a good percentage off of items that I can give you guys a good percentage off of items. Um, they are a little pricey, but there is good reason for that. So the brand is Athea Skincare. They are pretty amazing. 
like um, they are things that actually work for me. I'm gonna get to it with ones that I like the best. Um, I'm going to link in the description below my referral link, but also uh, a link for a uh, link uh, code for 50. Uh, recently, I started using this. It is called Athea Eye Renewal um, Energizing Eye Renewal. I use this every day when I wake up. It goes on like this. Um, I sometimes use it before bed. I want to use it now because I still got to stay up for just a little bit. Because uh, I'm having some other issues um, that I'm not quite ready to discuss. Um, so, this will help me hopefully get through it a little longer. And I put it on top of my eyes and I put it under my eyes. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not. But I feel like that's what helps me the best. Um, this is one of the first products that I tried by them. and. It's pretty nice. And I also use this, use this every night. This is the retinol night cream. Um, I typically don't put night cream on my face, uh, but this stuff has worked for me. Uh, it's helped with my acne a lot. Uh, mine is last week's video causing it to go havoc. Uh, but I just kind of, I take uh, two pumps and I put um, one on my tip of my middle finger and one on the other one. Um, the pointer finger and I kind of just put on like this and I don't know if this is how much you use but I have a five head therefore um, I tend to use a lot but I start with my cheeks and put a little there and put a little on my forehead and I put a little on my neck and my chin I go everywhere um, personally I really like their stuff I'm just so happy they reached out to me um, and I personally I like them so I'm hoping to get their um, vitamin C cream soon, and um, we'll see how that goes. Highly recommend both of those items. Um, so, um, I'm going to stop rambling and go get myself to sleep. So, if you like this video and you want to see some more from me, you should definitely like and subscribe. Um, go follow me on my Instagram. Link that stuff down in the bottom. Um, and I will, um, write out all of the podcasts, too, that I spoke about in this video, just because, well, I can. So, um, like, subscribe, comment, um, you know, you, you just do you. You'll see me back next week, either way, um, unless I get, like, three strikes or something, which, I mean... I don't think I can get any of those right now. You know, you know, I'm just, I'm going to go read the rules again and I'll let you decide whether you want to come back next week, but I'll be here. So bye. And I hope you have a wonderful night and sleep good. And yeah, I'll see you next week.